Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar channel, and in today's video I'll share some tips for organizing your notes and making them easily searchable in Evernote. So I use Evernote as my main note-taking app. I've done a couple of videos about Evernote, but in this one I want to talk specifically about organizing and finding notes. First, a quick overview on how Evernote structures itself organizationally. So the primary organizational unit for Evernote is the notebook. So notebooks should contain broad topics. You can add as many as you want, but I think you should limit the number you have or else it will become unwieldy. Obviously, if you're just starting out, you're not going to have any notes yet. But my rule of thumb is that I think each notebook should contain at least about 100 notes. If you don't think you're ever going to put that many notes in a notebook, it's probably not a notebook-worthy topic. The six notebooks that I have are books and reading, grad school, YouTube, recipes, kids' activities, and Laura's brain. The secondary organizational unit for Evernote is a tag. So although notebooks are physical locations for notes, a note can only be in one notebook at a time, tags are logical organizational tools. So in other words, notes can have multiple tags, each of which is searchable. So I find logical organization to be much more flexible for searching and organizing notes. For example, I took some notes on the debit cards that I use for allowance for my kids, and I've tagged this note with multiple tags, finances, how-to, and kids. So this note is going to come up if I search for any of these tags. Here, see? Here it is if I search for finances. Now if I search for another tag, like kids, it'll only give the results for those notes that have both of those tags. So this can be a very powerful search tool. You can create a tag as easily as just typing into the tag area, area up here in the note. My rule of thumb is that you should have at least 10 notes to warrant the creation of a tag. You can also create sub-tags. But you can only do this in the, in the desktop version of Evernote. Those tags nest visually underneath the primary tag. You create a sub-tag by right-clicking on the primary tag and then choosing create a tag in whatever tag. So I love the idea of sub-tags, but the execution by Evernote leaves much to be desired from my standpoint. For example, I have a bunch of sub-tags under recipes. So these are tags that I only use in my recipe notebook, and I do not want them scattered in amongst my other tags. I want them separated out and together. So in the PC software, they nest under this primary tag, and I can hide them if I want. Perfect. So the problem is that the sub-tag concept does not translate over to the iPad or iPhone app, which is where I use Evernote most frequently. For example, even though I've created this sub-tag sample under recipes in the, iPad, in the iPad app, it just gets scattered in with the rest of my tags. So for this reason, I created my own organizational tool, Grouping. So you may have noticed that each of these recipe sub-tags has a little R in front of it. Well, that's because even outside of the PC software, I want all of those recipe exclusive tags to be grouped together. And I can make this happen by putting a small R for recipe in front of each one. So that way, they all show up together, even on the iPad and the iPhone apps. I do the same thing for all the tags that I use exclusively in my books and reading notebook, and for those that I use in my YouTube notebook. So these are all ways to organize your notes. But the main reason for having good organization is so that you can find your notes again later. So the final tool for doing that is creating a good title. So creating a good title is important if you want to be able to locate your note later. So I try to think of all the terms that I might think of later when I'm trying to locate this note. It doesn't always make for the best syntax, but I just throw all the terms in there. I don't really care if the title's super long. For example, I make uh, notes on which school picture package that I order every year for my kids so I don't have to do that mental exercise again every year. I could search for school picture or photos or the name of the organization that's selling the pictures. So my title looks like this. So as I said, not the best grammar, but what do I care as long as I can find it every year? And finally, some search tri tricks. When it comes to searching, the iPad and iPhone just can't do quite as much as the PC version. For iOS, you can search for a term, but you can't differentiate whether that term appears in the title or just in the body of the note. So if I search for party, I get some notes where the word party is in the title and somewhere it's just embedded in the text of the note, and all of those search results are mixed together. So what that means is that I have to parse through all of these search results to find what I might be looking for. You can also search by tag, but only for one at a time. On the PC version, you can search by multiple tags, which we already did earlier, 
Plus, you can use what they call advanced search operators to give you a lot more options for searching. So to search for notes with the word party only in the title, you can type in in title colon party. You can use these search operators to find notes by the date they were created, by what kind of media they have attached to them, and where the note was created, among a mother, a bunch of other things. You can even combine search commands to even have more control. So I'm going to put a link to the full list of search operators in the comments section below. And that's it. Those are my tips for organizing your Evernote notes and making sure that you can find them when you need them later. Let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated, and thanks for watching.